Wrestling's most over babyface turns heel? Say it ain't so. On July 7th, 1996, Hulk Hogan turned his back on his tag team partners and the millions of Hulkamaniacs that followed him for years when he dropped the leg on Randy Savage and joined the evil NWO. And it was this event that you voted the number one most shocking heel turn of all time. Do I get to guess this? It's not Orndorff on Hulk, is it? <laughs> and number one, obviously, yeah. awesome. Hogan joining the NWO. Um, yeah, I should have got that easily, right? <laughs> That's up there, yeah, for sure. Great, wonderful, marvelous. You have to rate that up there. I mean, no one ever thought he'd give up the red and yellow, right? I won't argue with it because it was a turning point. Hulk Hogan coming down at what was the Great American Bash and doing the turn? Bash, the bash at the beach. Great American. It's a bash. Hogan coming out at the bash. All these guys coming out. Um, uh, not so shocking to me because Hulk has always been, if nothing else, an opportunist. And when it was clear that Vince was going in the direction of going to a, the new generation or you know the, some new style of what he, you know the the, the uh, the Attitude Generation or the Attitude Era, it was pretty clear that Hogan was the face of the, the, the era before that. And so there would not be a big place for Hogan in that new era, that new Attitude Era. The reason why it wasn't shocking to me was one of us is uh, Jerry Clowers said, you know, when he went up to the tree to get his cat, it wasn't a cat, it was a f f raccoon. One of, shoot up amongst us, one of us needs us some relief. One of us had a, was going to go on that one. But, I mean, was it absolutely, it cemented the NWO. Much like, uh, you know, Austin and McMahon kind of uh, set the pace for, for the business at that time, I think that, that Hulk, the Hulk Hogan turn, um, the formation of the NWO, I think that that paved the way for WCW, uh, at that time to really take off like they did. It turned WCW's business around. It really did. So that was a pivotal, it was a pivotal turn for business. Um, when you talk about great iconic heel turns, to me, it, it belongs there. Yeah, it, it definitely belongs there. But again, I, I look at the top three of, of Hogan, of uh, Vince and Steve and Andre. They almost screwed it up in the commentary. Somebody had made a, a faux pas when Hogan was coming out. I forget who. Yeah, I think, I, God bless Bobby Heenan. I love Bobby Heenan, but I think he almost kind of slipped up and gave, you know, let the uh, cat out of the bag. I remember watching it and just just looking at it more as a, a, a piece of history, you know, the first time ever that Hulk Hogan is, you know, joining the dark side. What? The Andre turn on Hogan should have been, the Hogan turn was. Hogan was adored, adored. And if you go back and watch, the telltale sign is the reaction of the fans. Booing is one thing. Hurling things in the ring is another. The Oswell assassination. We're in a police station. Who's that guy? Why does he have that hat on? Oh, God. He, 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 he dropped the leg of Randy Savage. Oh, that's Hulk Hogan. What, what, what? You know, then boom, the shit happens. Yeah, I, I, nobody saw that coming. I mean, they, they always talked about there was another person, the, uh, the leader of the NWO, and who could it be? They never saw it coming, but when you lay the story down of all the stories of all the turns, that makes to me just about, if not the most sense, right up there with the most sense, and I think it was the best. He turns around and hits Savage with the leg drop and goes heel. I mean, who, 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 who would have, you know, figured that one coming about? I certainly didn't. I mean, I would have sworn he would have been like a Ricky Steamboat type, you know. I mean, even though, you know, Steamboat was never heel. And Hogan had started off as a heel. Once he went babyface and it was, you know, rock flag and eagle, all-American, good guy, babyface. 
I never expected Hulk Hogan to go heel, and when he did turn heel, it did, it did shock me. Wrestling at that point was kind of just status quo. It was kind of just like a nice day at the beach. Hogan's turn brought that hurricane off the coast that brings six foot waves to, to your beach. It changed everything, and all of a sudden, it was cool again, man, and here we go, let's rock and roll. If you're gonna top uh, the, the uh, Montreal screw job, or, you know, just, yeah, all American, say your prayers, eat your vitamins, injectable or chewable or whatever. That was like the only thing that hadn't been done. Like, I mean, the Hulk could never even come close to turning heel. He always thought that, like, you know, he shouldn't do that. Ever thought he was, he was going to live and die by it and become a red and yellow dinosaur. And man, he turned black and white and ran with it. I think uh, he was like one of the last people to figure out he wasn't getting over anymore out there as Babyface doing the same act. To me, without a doubt, I think he got that one right. I, that was definitely probably the most shocking. There is one, though, that isn't on this list that people can say, oh, Stryker, shut up. I don't know if it was Jack or Jerry Briscoe, but at the time, they were loved in Florida. And uh, I forget who one of the Briscoes were wrestling, and the pinfall and near fall came, and all the Briscoe did was put his foot on the rope as opposed to kick out. Now, that may not seem like anything, but when you think about it, a good guy doesn't put his foot on the rope. A good guy kicks out and out-wrestles a bad guy. But as soon as that Briscoe put his foot on the rope, the entire crowd turned on him for one little shortcut. To say that would be a number one shocker, I, I would totally agree with that. Wrestling's most over babyface turns heel, say it ain't so. On July 7th, 1996, Hulk Hogan turned his back on his tag team partners and the millions of Hulkamaniacs that followed him for years when he dropped the leg on Randy Savage and joined the evil NWO. And it was this event that you voted the number one most shocking heel turn of all time. Do I get to guess this? It's not Orndorff on Hulk, is it? <laughs> and number one, obviously, yeah. awesome. Hogan joining the NWO. Um, yeah, I should have got that easily, right? <laughs> That's up there, yeah, for sure. Great, wonderful, marvelous. You have to read that up there. I mean, no one ever thought he'd give up the red and yellow, right? I won't argue with it because it was a turning point. Hulk Hogan coming down at what was the Great American Bash and doing the turn? Bash at the beach. Bash at the beach great Amer it's a bash. Hogan coming out at the bash. All these guys coming out. Um, uh, not so shocking to me because Hulk has always been, if nothing else, an opportunist. And when it was clear that Vince was going in the direction of going to a, the new generation or, you know, the, some new style of what he, you know, the, 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 uh, the Attitude Generation or the Attitude Era, it was pretty clear that Hogan was the face of the, the, the era before that. And so there would not be a big place for Hogan in that new era, uh, that new Attitude Era. The reason why it wasn't shocking to me was one of us is uh, Jerry Clowers said, you know, when he went up to the tree to get his cat, it wasn't a cat, it was a f f raccoon. One of, shoot up amongst us, one of us needs us some relief. One of us had a, was going to go on that one. But, I mean, was it absolutely, it cemented the NWO. Much like, uh, you know, Austin and McMahon kind of uh, set the pace for, for the business at that time, I think that, that Hulk, the Hulk Hogan turn, um, the formation of the NWO, I think that that paved the 